Happy Mother's Day. This is Ann Sieg, and I want to tip my hat to all the mothers out there, and especially all the moms who work from home, called WAMs, or working at home moms. And that is my story. I was working from home uh, as I grew and developed my 80-20 marketing business that I incorporated with both my husband and my eldest son. But I want to give um, recognition, acknowledgement to my mom, especially as she shaped and formed my character and specific attributes that really helped um, develop me towards uh, the entrepreneurial space, being a businesswoman. Um, I remember going back in time here now, it was, uh, I was about seven years old, and my grandmother taught me how to make hand-knitted Christmas bells. And my mom saw me making, you know, row after row of these Christmas bells. And she said, Ann, you should go in the neighborhood and sell your Christmas bells. And so I put them all in a box. And I went out by myself without my mom. There was no chaperone or anything like that. And, of course, neighborhoods were nice and safe back then. But just about everyone bought up my Christmas bells. And they were gone by the time I got home. So that was my first experience with sales. It went really, really well. Um, but specifically things that really trained me to do well as a businesswoman, uh, she had superb organizational skills. Uh, she was always making her list that she would write out the night before and she'd cross her tasks off and she would just, you know, go right through and be very organized, very systematic. So I saw that developed or demonstrated for myself and I naturally incorporated that into my life growing up being very organized and systematic. The other thing was my mom was a great project manor, manager from the perspective. She was a teacher, as was my father. And um, my mom and dad organized numerous, numerous events for us kids when we were growing up, as well as their own. They had this study club, for example, that they did, having people all read the same book, and then they would get together and discuss the book. Um, but I remember they organized a 4-H club just so that their kids, um, my brothers and my sister and I, could have that experience growing up, being in 4-H. Um, but just numerous things. So for myself, it was really natural for me to be an organizer. It wouldn't be unusual for me to be managing 10 or 12 different projects all at the same time. Um, as I move forward into my adulthood, raising my own family and children, uh, no matter what I was doing, I was always doing numerous organizations and just managing multiple projects. And that's a real strength attribute when you're running a business and a team. And the other thing is this. This is probably the deepest value that I, I really appreciate is a lifelong love of learning uh, to what I call self-education. And that is what in part led me to then homeschool my children uh, for 12 years. I have three boys. They're now all grown adults. But um, that's self-education, and they have taken that into their adulthood. They get it that it's about learning how to self-educate, and they've done extremely well. Uh, so much so that what happened as a result of this uh, investing into my family the way my mom invested into hers and I think I took it kind of to a whole nother level with my own family because we ran multiple family businesses, my husband and I. I was also homeschooling them, and I encouraged all of them to run businesses while they were growing up. Isaiah, my eldest son, who's my business partner, has done did multiple businesses during his high school years. And uh, so what happened is six years ago, we incorporated 80-20 marketing, and we've been together ever since. Me. Uh, my husband and my eldest son and so I'm really grateful for all that my mom poured into me to help give me these sense of values so I'm just sharing this with you and appreciation for all that and for you moms who are listening and watching this and and the men as well I'd like you to reflect for a minute and maybe comment below the influence that your mother had on you maybe perhaps especially as an entrepreneur and then secondly for those of you who are parenting now and mothers and the influence you are now investing into your children and perhaps now with a stronger focus on the strengths of those entrepreneurial traits. So a big happy Mother's Day to everybody. Enjoy your day. It's special and I'd love to read your comments below. Bye-bye.